Well, it's warming up now, but many Northwest Dallas residents went without hot water or heat this morning as that natural gas outage continues. Our CBS 11's Brittany Jeffers joins us live at the Walnut Hill Recreation Center with an update on that situation. Brittany. Now, Russ, taking a look at the most recent numbers, Atmos says that it has restored gas service to about 140 homes, but that means about 2,600 people or homes rather are still going without. Now, as we've reported, many people have opted to go to hotels, but some have decided to wait it out in their homes. And those that did this morning told me that they were very grateful that they had a, st a stipend to use and that they were able to plan uh, for this colder weather. Last time I was up here when I got my car, I went and bought uh, electric heaters for our bedrooms. And it was chilly, but it was all right. Just more blankets, more more blankets. Yeah, fortunately we don't have a fireplace, but uh, yeah, just just more blankets. Atmos crews are working 24 hours a day right now to get the gas flowing again. They're replacing about two and a half miles of natural gas pipelines. This massive repair project began after a 12 year old girl died in a house explosion last month. Now, Atmos is providing $250 a day stipends to the households that have been affected by the outage. And a good reminder for those who are using space heaters is to make sure that children, pets, and anything flammable stays at least three feet away from the heating equipment. And reminder to turn off all of those portable heating devices before you go to bed. Now, at this particular location here at Walnut Hill Recreation Center, many people are showing up today to receive that second round of stipends. Uh, Atmos right now is providing that compensation every five days. Uh, you can also get more information here as well as at the Bachman Lake Recreation Center. Live here in Dallas, Brittany Jeffers, CBS 11 News.